I mean, I say, you know, I've tried it, and then I gained like 70 pounds between my freshman and sophomore year. So, you know, after that, it was kind of kind of over with. <laughs> that dream sank real quick. And how, how often do you get asked how tall you are? I mean, I know it's kind of uh, the daily. worst thing ever. <laughs> daily. Easily daily. Do you have a funny answer for them ever, or do you just tell them? Uh, well, I usually tell them, or tell them how tall I am, and then I that I'm a water polo player okay. sometimes. Yeah. Nice. Just tell them I play these ridiculous sports, badminton, really? stuff like that. Yeah. Nice. That kind of stuff. What um, they were saying, like this, the big three. If you got your line, that maybe like the biggest class of three linemen ever. I mean, is, yeah. that, is that pretty cool? I don't know. Yeah. No, that's guy. that's awesome. Like it's it's crazy to think that. I mean, just look at us, the size. I mean, Isaiah's 6'8", I'm 6'7 and a half, Kevin's 6'9". It's like, sure. what? But, uh, yeah, it's it's definitely awesome. It's a it's a big future. Leaves Absolutely. room for a big future. And I do have to ask, what are the positives and maybe even negatives of that height on the offensive line? Obviously, mostly positive, but what are, what are the... What? Um, so, I guess the positives, I mean, you're bigger than everyone else. Right. You have that length. So, I mean, on the offensive line, your hands are everything. And uh, especially with D linemen, if you once you lock them out, like that's it. Sure. So I mean, that's a big positive for us. We have long arms than most defenders right. will play against. Um, the negatives could be um, leverage. Sure. Leverage. So we have to get a lot lower than other players, especially the D line. And uh, at me playing guard now, that's another big thing. Is I have sure. to I have to learn to get a lot lower than I've been playing. Absolutely. Well, good luck, man. Thank All right. So thanks. Much. Appreciate it. I mean, how big of a transition as it is, you know you living in Utah now being out here in the middle of, you know football yeah. crazy Ohio I mean just talk about the transition uh, I mean it's awesome like the the weather here it's been it's been like the exact same as home um, this place has felt a lot like home actually um, the only thing that's different is pretty much the humidity and then uh, I guess everywhere I go when I wear my Ohio State stuff I mean I've gone to the airport uh, twice now and it's just everyone approaches me awesome uh, friendly fans and it's it's really it's really fun to live here now you graduated early, but you didn't enroll early. You were working at a gym. We had a chance to talk about that. Yes, sir. You know, just talk about how much, how, how much you know, did you put on extra muscle? I mean, what, what what happened? What was the result of just having that time off to be able to work solely at the gym and be able to do some things like that? Uh, well, I lost a lot of weight. I mean, I mean, bad weight. I stayed around the same 320, 325, but I lost a lot of bad weight. I gained a lot of muscle. Um, it really helped my work ethic to to be able to coach the the kids that were younger than me and kind of have to guide them to get to where I am now, even though I'm not anywhere near where I want to be at the end of my career or at the peak of my career. Um, and, I mean, it, it really helps being around someone who played in the NFL, who played under Coach Meyer at Utah. And, um, you know, he really, taught me, he really taught me a lot about this program and how it's going to work and how I can excel here. Everybody's really raved about your whole recruiting class, but they've singled out the offensive line as a, you got to keep an eye on you know this yes, class. Sir. I mean, you know, just just talk about the unit as a whole. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, we're the Slavs. We're the we are. Um, I mean, a, a, a great unit. <laughs> uh, it's a, we always we, we the thing about the Slavs. We we know how to mix work with fun. So in the O line room, we have 30 minutes of grind on film plays, whatever it is. And then we have a five-minute break. We go to the locker room, have fun, like a little pee break, something like that. <laughs> and uh, just kind of like hanging out with the guys again. I mean, Pat Elfline is my big brother, so he's been helping me a lot uh, transition into college and kind of like college-style offense and all this different stuff. And uh, it's been great. He's been teaching me the whole lifestyle of the Slavs, and it's, it's definitely been fun. Isaiah's already lost his black stripe. Yours coming off soon? Uh, hopefully, hopefully. I mean, I've been working really hard. Um, uh, Coach Meyer has been talking to me about it over and over again, telling me when I'm going to get it off, and uh, hopefully it'll be in the making really soon. Thanks, man. All right, thanks. Appreciate it.